great. Do you feel like you're hitting the ball harder now than you did last last year? Um, that's a good question, to be honest. Yeah, I feel. I mean, I feel really well right now. I mean, honestly, everybody everybody did extremely well today. Yeah, I just feel like I'm. Me and Chief have been working really hard, especially coming back from that injury. So, yeah, I just feel really good at the plate. You feel stronger? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I just feel core stability, all that kind of stuff that me and Mac work on every day is really paying off. So. What does core stability sort of mean, and what are you doing to sort of strengthen? Yeah, the just kind of. In the past, maybe growing up, I just play so much baseball that you don't really work on the little muscles that help you decelerate, like slow your swing down. Everybody just tries to speed it up, and so just working on those muscles that slow my swing down when I finish, those types of things. So. Oh, 100%. I, it's awesome. I love when that happens. Just see all the, I like to see all my friends do well. So that was just awesome. Just see Monster, guys like Ashton Larson get his first hit, all that kind of stuff's awesome. Because I was there last year and it, that feeling is great. And I, they can just kind of play free and do what they came here to do. So. Did you jam your finger? Yeah, I took a foul ball off the hand, but it's it's all right. That kind of stuff happens, so I'll just get in there with Isaac, put some ice on it, and see how I feel tomorrow. But I'm I'm good to go. Just that's it's baseball. So was that before you hit the home run, or was that? That was before, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was before. That was the inning before. I had it right there where I normally keep it, and when I'm catching, and it just got me pretty good. So not but, enough. To... No, not enough. Now, yeah. I was nervous though. I was super nervous because I was I was just holding it real tight, and I think I did something good to it. I don't know, but I was holding it tight and just squeezing it. I was like, I'm good to go. I can still throw. So some catchers like having their hand behind their mm -hmm. back as well. Why do you sort of like having it sort of closer out in front? Yeah, it's it's a risk reward thing. It's quicker on the transfer to throw out guys, but it's 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 really exposed. Yeah. So that I mean, it's happened to me before. And it's just I'm a little stubborn, so not a little too stubborn to put it back behind my back or behind my knees, a common spot. Um, so just yeah, just faster transfer, throw the guy out. BMI's run game, obviously something they take pride in. You guys had a really good day. It's also this weekend, but then there's one in particular where you had a nice throw right on the money and then a play before. Milam had a great tackle. Yeah. Defensively, what is he like? Milam. He's a great. I mean, he's a great player. I played against him with him since we were like 12 years old, and he's always he's special. Like. I'm glad he's playing really well right now. He's a special player, special person, great teammate, and just his hands are unbelievable. The guy's, he's got really good hands. So. Yeah, just quick. He's got a good arm. I mean, he's fast. He's agile. He can move laterally. It's he's special for sure. What led to the success today, gunning down Aries Rodgers the second so quickly? Yeah, I mean, we work on it a lot, and when we have we have three really really good catchers, so I mean. When you get those all three guys in a room, you just pick up stuff. Like Al will suggest something. I'm like, oh wow, that really helps, you know, and just kind of pick up different tips and all that kind of other stuff. And so I think as a group, we just work really well together and just we all throw different. We all have different kind of styles and just like kind of taking the good of what we see each other do and putting that into our game. So that answers that. How do you work on throwing out runners with Josh Jordan? Uh, it's just, I mean, you could go so far. It's risk angle the spin you want I mean in in the game you just catch it and throw it just yeah. let everything play out just catch the ball throw it to second base that's all you really think of but in practice that's when you work on throwing a softball or using a baseball that's narrower and just working on that kind of wrist angle and all the different spins you want so just becomes a muscle memory exactly thing. yeah and then when you get in the game that's just have fun play have fun throw it as hard as you can that's what I <laughs> Friendly competition between all the catchers. Oh, this yeah. Off season on the guys out. yeah, we'll put up uh, like L screens and just make it narrower and narrower and see who can fit it in between the second base. Just little things like that. I mean, once again, three really good catchers just makes us a whole lot better as a group. So, oh, well, like, what's an example of like an angle or a spin that you would want in a certain situation? Just like that you heard in Luke Coleman's fastball, that's exactly what I want. I want the high spin, yeah. kind of the vert, okay. is what they say, the induced vertical break is. That's what I want. I want it to carry as far as I can, so I can start it low and keep it right on the bag. So. Okay. And you have to angle your wrist in a certain way to just. To yeah, it's keep all. That it's, spin. I'll, I'll let him talk about it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, Cam Johnson today, obviously a lot of nerves. You know, yeah. Really talented guy. What did you kind of see in just the confidence he kind of built getting out of that inning with just one run given up? Yeah, he, I mean he's special. He yeah he's he's got unbelievable stuff and his confidence will come. He's. I mean, what he did to the hitters, like even me and the inner squads is scary. Like that, 
when he's on, he's on, you know. I mean, it's his first game. Once he gets settled in, he'll be perfectly fine. I have no doubt in my mind, although the catching group is no doubt in our minds, that when he's settled in and locked in, big opponent, maybe SEC team, he's going to be good. Like, he's going to fill the zone and throw his breaking stuff well. So. I thought about this guy right here. How you make Javen's awesome, man. <laughs> that's, that's one of my best friends. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, just the fastball's so good. It plays so well. I mean, the first inning, I think we threw all fastballs. Y'all could probably go back and look, but I think we threw all fastballs in the same spot. Just here it is, you know. And that's a really good hitting team. They're fourth best offense in the country or something last year, I think. So that's just, that just tells you how special it is. It just plays the induced. It rises. It looks like it rises, you know. It's just... It's unbelievable. It's hard to hit too. It's hard. In the fall, we had our trouble. So. Have there been any um, different noticeable different differences in working with uh, Yeski now compared to West Johnson last year? No, I mean, I I can't really. I couldn't really. No, not really. I mean, they're both just great coaches. Like Coach Yeski. Coach Yeski's really good with the verbals in our ear, just talking to us. Like, hey. Um, like there was a um, a guy on first three two and like I forgot to get out there and tell the first baseman to get over or ground ball go across to first base not go to second base and he'll tell me in the ear and just he's a really good communicator while I'm out on the field and when I get in the dugout. So, so you got like a mic in your ear? Yeah, yeah, the little wire we, okay. always comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a pain? Oh yeah, it is. But it's then he tells you something you're like, oh, I need to do that, and so it's it's really helpful. Is it? Do you get like pitch calls through there so you know what's coming, or is that just the wrist? Uh, just the wrist. Sometimes it'll be every once in a while there'll be something like uh, he wants to see a different look from our our side of the plate, but most of the uh, pitch calls are from the wrist, the wristband. So. What, what were you looking at for that for the home run? What pitch were you looking for? What you get? I just what me and coach always talk about: just sit fastball and let my hands work, get my foot down, and if I see it up and it's got spin and it's got a chance to be in the zone, especially with two strikes, you got to swing. Just let it put a good swing on the ball, keep my bat in the bat in the zone as long as I can. So. It's hard to ask this because you just won by what, 22. Yeah. Is there anything you guys want to improve on going forward, starting tomorrow, maybe? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's not a lot to. The only thing maybe is just like on my part is on one of the throws when he made the really good tag. I threw it to the wrong side of the bag, which I'm very happy with the throw. Don't get me wrong, but like that's just little things that. And that guy's a good runner. Maybe, you know, if a guy later on in the season gets a better jump and I throw it to the wrong side of the bag, he's safe. You, you never know what could happen to that. The guy on second with, I think there was no outs at the time. I think that was the first out of the inning. So, guy on second, no outs. And if I throw it to the wrong side of the bag, he's safe. That's just little stuff. But, I mean, I, f I feel like we did pretty good today, you know. Do you like, is it fun having Steven catching your, catching your balls like that? Yeah. Because he's an excellent tagger. He's special. Like, he's just... And he's there on time, which is big. So I have a target to look at, which is big for us. Because it's hard, kind of like a quarterback, it's hard to throw over a defender into an open spot. But it's easy when you've when you got a target there to look at and you know what you're throwing at. So. Even if it's not the biggest target. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, I, I can't talk. I'm short, too. <laughs> I, I got no room there. I can't. <laughs> but. Thank you, guys. Basketball working today? Basketball is working today, I would say. Um, wasn't quite as accurate as I wanted to be, but there's always something to work on. How did you feel after? Oh, good. It was a little cold, but got through it. It also helps when you score 20 something runs like we do, so yeah. Did you just need some rest in the fall? Like you were out, J Jay's talked about this a couple times. Yeah. No, uh, just wanted to take some time, uh, take some time off just to figure out my body, just because I was changing so many different things after I got Tommy John. Um, so yeah, just taking time and um, going back and looking at film and, you know, figuring out what works for me. And then I got to throw a lot in the spring and I was really successful and I was able, able to bring it into the game. I guess what were you trying to figure out physically? Um, just moving down the mound better, getting my arm in a better position. Um, I, would, I would say those two things were probably the bigger things for sure. I know you were trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. It feels like this is the first time in a while you've been able to kind of have a kind of full off season, full yeah. reset. What's that been like just kind of ramping up? some sense of bonus. Yeah, no, I mean, I get to take my time. So I think that was like, that's the biggest thing for me, being able to take my time um, and just really work with Coach Yeski and figure, like I said, my body out and um, 
just the repetitions that I, I got with the time I had is was huge for me. Gavin mentioned uh, earlier in the preseason that he's mm -hmm. big on the fastball. Right? Yeah. I want you to dominate. Is that something you've been able to kind of take away from him as well? Yeah, for sure. I think I've always been like a fastball dominant guy. But yeah, with Coach Yeski, he's he loves pounding the zone, throw it over the white, let him hit it. If they're going to hit it, they hit it. So, I mean, I like it. That's the way I like to work. How did it feel to get the starting nod today? Oh, it feels, feels really good. It's been too long since I've thrown and you know, I'm finally feeling healthy, so it, it felt really good. Coach talked about how he likes you as a starter and sees you as a starter. Mm -hmm. um, why does why do you think that works best for you? I guess. Um, just being able to take my time when it comes to uh, getting prepared before a game uh, kind of mellows me out. I feel like coming out of the bullpen, obviously, you get to have a different type of mentality coming out of the bullpen. Um, you know, with the you know, you get on the walkie-talkie, hey, get so and so hot. Um, but yeah, I just say taking my time and being able to mellow out and get my mind calm. Is that something you sort of learned about yourself over the fall that you sort of need that extra time to warm up? Yeah, ready? yeah, I think that was I think that was really big for me. Um, like I said, just taking my time in general really helps me. Was it a tough decision for you to come back? Uh, not necessarily. Um, I didn't want to sell myself short either. Uh, I think I had six or seven appearances last year coming off coming off the injury, so. Um, just wanted to bet on myself, so that's why I came back. What's it like facing Stevie Mine? I don't know how many times you had to face him during the spring training. Yeah, I think I faced him four or five times. Um, you know, he he likes working you. He really likes working you. He likes spoiling pitches. Um, I would say he's definitely one of the guys that was more tough to get out than anybody else. Um, really makes you get down, get down to his in his playing zone. No offense to his height, but. You know, yeah. it's it, it definitely changes your eye levels when you get in there, and you're like, hmm, something's off. But yeah, he's really good. Feels like his back controls his well. Oh yeah, it's really elite. Yeah, he knows he can put he can put the barrel to the ball whenever he wants. So is this so? This is what the fourth different pitching coach you've worked with here at LSU. Fourth coach, fourth year. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like working with all these different sort of guys, and what's it like working with Yeski? What sort of separates him from the rest of them? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've had old school and new school. I feel like Coach Yeski has the best of both worlds when it comes to that. Um, but I think my biggest thing, or my favorite thing with Coach Yeski is just the player-coach relationship that he has with us. Super easy to talk to him. Um, and he's also a really funny guy. Are there any noticeable differences between him and Coach Johnson from last year? Um, I think Coach Johnson is quite a bit more analytical-driven. Um, Coach Yeski is more of a hands-on guy, I would say, but he still likes to look at the analytics. But um, I think Coach Yeski, what he does best is just talking with us through things and just figuring out little cues and whatnot to help each pitcher um, be successful when they're on the mound. How would you feel about the guys around you defensively? Oh, you look behind you, you got Braswell, you got Milam, um, you look in center, you have Paxson, like he made that ca insane catch yesterday. I just try to throw it over the white and let them work, really. Um, yeah, I have a lot of confidence in those guys. Are there, I, I guess, which, which, which secondary offerings are you trying to improve on, trying to work on? Um, I would say my changeup. I've been working a lot on my changeup. Um, that, that's something that needs to, that needs to be um, worked on. But um, I like throwing my slider a lot. I also have my curveball. You'll see my curveball here soon. So. Jay mentioned the walks don't worry him. That's something kind of even. Uh, that's some kind of sentiment you take. Is this more of just kind of getting that first outing under the belt? Yeah, I mean, it's my first outing under the belt, but obviously as a pitcher it's ideal to not walk anyone. I didn't really like the uh, um, the amount of walks I had today, but, you know, I got next week to to show and improve on. So. Did you talk to Cam or Luke at all in between innings, you know, while they were kind of going through it out there a little bit? Um. Yeah. Um, Yesterday, Luke. Luke is just really, really down to earth guy. Um, so him coming up to me and talk, he did talk to me in between one of the innings, and he was just like, "Hey, calm down, throw it over the white, keep keep doing what you're doing, and it's all gonna work out." Um, so I really appreciate Luke, and he's really good. Any other questions? All right, Javen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Javen.